Hello everyone, Greg and Lupe. Play a trip to Journey. Jess is over here. Today we're going to be uh, doing the Wisdom Panel Essential Dog DNA Test Kit. Uh, we'll have a link down below to the product for you to check out. And I'm going to talk about uh, why we chose this one and show you how to use it. And uh, tell you about the other main option on the market and why I went with this one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and purchase through our links in the description. It helps us out a little bit, and uh, doesn't cost you anything. So let's uh, let's do this kit and figure out what Lupe is. So if you guys are new to our channel and you haven't seen our videos before, we just got Lupe a couple months ago on our Baja trip, and we have no idea about most of her history, nor what kind of breed she is. So we're excited to use this test. Everybody says she's very pretty, which we know that. <laughs> we're guessing Mastiff and Lab with a little Chihuahua, but we're gonna find out. Uh, okay, so the Wisdom Panel Essential, I think we paid 80 bucks for it at the time of purchase. But you open it up, don't throw this away, it says it right on it, because that's your shipping container and ends up no no postage required in the u.s here and it just has a simple six steps which i already read through yesterday you got to activate it online get the swabs ready and swab the dog don't have the meat for two hours dry the sticks and once they're dry put them back in here don't seal it again and then uh, mail it off just follow the instructions. Pet name Lupe. Female, probably spayed. That's a choice. Pet age, uh, approximate. Oh, I'm gonna call it. I think she's five. Wow. You think? You're gonna admit it, huh? I want to say four, <laughs> but I'd say five is probably a safer yeah, assumption. Yeah, I agree. Pet location. What does that mean? Like where we live? That's what it's one. I think that's what it's interested in. I mean, oh, I can't really answer that. She's she's a, she's a Roman pet. Uh, she's a photo you want her friends to see. What? It says we don't use photos for breed identification. I'm gonna skip it. Because I don't want to give them any bonuses. <laughs> this is not a COVID test. <laughs> she is very eerily COVID testy. And I'm not going to stick it up her nose. All right, girl. Let's see how you feel about this. Come here. Let me see your jowls. You're so good. <laughs> yeah, let's get that in there a little further. I think we got 15 seconds? Yeah, probably. Think I did all right? Yeah, seems like we got it up in there. All right, so. Dry. For at least five minutes. Oh. And then re repeat steps two through four. Be sure to use on the same dog. What do you want? You want another one? She liked it. Did that, that feel good? good? Gum massage. <laughs> should we do it? Should we do the other side, girl? Here. Just get up in there. You're not gonna close your mouth on that one as much, are you? No, oh, here. I wouldn't think it feels great. It's metal bristles, but... Oh, it is? Yeah. Shouldn't seem to mind too much. Oh, you think we've been in there 15 seconds? Probably not quite. How about now? That's pretty good. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. You want breakfast now? 
She's been waiting patiently for her breakfast. <laughs> okay, so the next step, now that we've let these dry for at least five minutes, but I gave it about 10. So to put them back into the package, bristles first, into the original sleeve. Um, it says not to touch the ends, obviously. So put them back in there. It says not to reseal them. Put them back in the package. You write your name and the dog's name on there. And that's that. Let's mail it off and wait two to three weeks for results. Good to go. Okay, so we have an update on the wisdom panel about Lupe. Uh, we had mailed it on April 12th, and they give you tracking, so we were able to track that to make sure it was received, took a couple days. On April 20th, we got an email saying that they received her DNA sample. Um, and then in that, it talked about the steps, I believe, yeah, they're checking their steps, blah, 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 blah. So let's take two to three weeks. Anyways, this morning, what day was that? That was April 20. Mm -hmm. Today, April 22. So two days later. Pretty quick. We have Lupe's DNA results are in. We haven't read it yet, so. Yeah, we are opening we're find it. find out with you guys. Right now. And she is very excited to find out, too. <laughs> Our girl. Lupe. Lupe. You want to know girl? what kind of dog you are? Yes, she goes, no, I just want belly rubs. <laughs> uh, 11 breeds. Ooh. Are we gonna have some Chihuahua? Let's see what they say. 44% Rottweiler. No way. Okay. 23% Pit. Okay. 15% <laughs> Boxer. Oh, wow. 4% German Shepherd. Really? 3%. American Stafford Shire Terrier. Okay. That's what we got. <laughs> wow, I didn't guess any of those. What do you think? Is that what you are? So she's mostly rot and pit. Yeah. And what was the third one? Boxer. Boxer. Boxer had crossed my mind early on, but she just seems so mellow compared to boxers. It's only 15%. Hmm. That's crazy. So she has no lab and no mastiff whatsoever. I've been telling everybody that the I thought she was. It does say 11 breeds in her DNA. And it showed the top five. So we click into it. We could be slightly more accurate for, mm. uh, for us. Yeah. So you got the 44 rod, 23 pit, 15 boxer, 3 American Staffordshire Terrier, 2% Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Hmm. 2% Bulldog. Wow. <laughs> uh, those are all guard type features. Yeah. Type dogs. Uh, and then she's 4% German Shepherd, which is a herder, it says. 2% hmm. Chihuahua. <laughs> it had to be in there. <laughs> That's under Terrier. Oh, here's her sniffing around. Hound Dog, 2% Seguyo Italiano. Okay, whatever that is. Street Dogs. 2% Polynesian street dog. What? Maybe they came, some Polynesian street dogs came over to Baja. And the companion, she's only got 1% of companionship. American Eskimo dog. <laughs> so odd. So that's that. Mostly Rottweiler. Looks kind of like a rot, just the wrong color. <laughs> and smaller. I thought rots are kind of yeah. thick. Yeah. Okay. There you have it. So that's that, guys. Yeah. Uh, wisdom panel. And then there are more ancestry results in here. Uh, and then there's... They didn't detect any known genetic health predispositions for her. So mm. we've got 29 are clear there. Okay. So you can look at the health results. 
And then they did 39 genetic trait tests on her DNA. You can get the full trait results. And uh, yeah, so that's really it. If you're interested in finding out what kind of dog you have, get yourself a wisdom panel. And you can get it through the link in the description.